The Canon M50 is one of the most popular cameras of all time, and now it's more affordable than ever. It has all the typical things you want in a good camera, like high resolution photo, fast shooting speeds, and a small and compact body. But I've actually been shooting on this camera for the last three years, and I'm starting to see that it's getting kind of old. So let's figure out if the M50 Mark II is still worth it and if it's right for you. Also, I'll leave links down below for the best pricing on the M50. The main thing that most people love about the Canon M50 Mark II is the body and design. The Canon M50 has an ultra small and compact design, something that you can take anywhere and everywhere with you. And the ergonomics of the bun layout and menus on the M50 is phenomenal. Both the menus and the bun layout is dead simple. You can easily pick up this camera and get great results right away even if you're new to cameras. It has a really simple beginner mode that lets you choose things like background blur, brightness, contrast, and saturation. You simply tell the camera what kind of photo you want and it does all the work for you. And it also has a built-in flash for photos, which is becoming a pretty rare feature on cameras like this. One of the things that I love about the M50 is that the screen on the back is also a touch screen. So you can easily control this camera simply using the touch controls on the back and you can control all of your major settings like shutter, aperture, ISO, and even more complex settings like focus modes and video resolution. And the screen on the back also has touch autofocus where you can simply tap the subject on the screen and the camera will immediately snap that subject into focus, but it will also track that subject throughout the frame as it moves around. And the screen on the back is also side articulating screen for vlogging and self recording. And the battery life in the M50 Mark II is still top notch. It will easily last me a whole day of shooting photos on and off, and maybe a little bit less if I'm shooting video, but the battery life is definitely not a concern, but I still recommend picking up a few spares. You can get really cheap third-party batteries for the M50 on Amazon for about $40 for a two pair with a charger. The M50 Mark II is definitely a great camera in terms of design, but what about how it looks? Does the quality of the photos and videos still hold up by today's standards. And the results might surprise you because it is a budget camera. Now that's mainly because the M50 Mark II uses a 24 megapixel APS-C size sensor, which is plenty of resolution for casual use. But the cool thing is the sensor in the M50 is very similar to that what Canon uses in their newer and much more expensive cameras. And you also get the signature Canon colors that make everything look very true to life with a hint of warmth and it especially makes people's faces and skin tone look fantastic. Canon is without a doubt one of the best portraits and lifestyle cameras out there. But it gets even better. The Canon M50 can also shoot 10 frames per second up to 33 JPEGs in a row or 10 raw photos, which is very fast and you get a lot of photos in a row before the camera needs a break. The M50 ends up being a great casual point and shoot for everyday lifestyle shots. And the M50 can also shoot at a slower 4.5 frames per second. And in this mode, you can actually shoot up to a thousand JPEGs in a row without your camera needing to take a break or 15 raw frames. And 4.5 frames per second is probably the speed that I recommend to most people. And the autofocus in the M50 does a really good job keeping up with all the action. Like I mentioned earlier, you also have touch autofocus using the rear screen. And what the M50 specifically is good at is eye detection and face detection. So if you shoot a lot of people with your camera, this is a good one to get. But it does tend to struggle when you're shooting maybe cars or just objects that it doesn't recognize where newer Canon cameras now have subject detect mode where they actually detect people, animals, and vehicles. And the M50 does shoot raw photos, but it also shoots 14-bit raw, which gives you a ton of flexibility when it comes to colors and light values. And you can take the photos from the M50 and create something truly breathtaking. But video on the M50 is a completely different story. It's not a bad video camera by any means. It shoots great video, but it does have some specific quirks that you should be aware of. The M50 shoots full HD video at 24 and 30 frames per second. This is exactly what you need for real-time videos such as vlogs, travel videos, or just cinematic videos in your everyday life. And on top of that, you still get those classic Canon colors and quality, so the video out of this camera is really nice. And let's be honest, slow motion just looks awesome. The Canon M50 also shoots full HD up to 60 frames per second, and it also does super slow motion for five times slow motion at 120 frames per second, but only at 720p, which is a little bit low res, but if you're just a casual shooter, you're probably not even going to notice that resolution drop. And it's just really nice to have 120 frames per second in your camera. 
And just in case you're wondering, the autofocus works just as well in video mode as it does in photo mode, so you're going to get great autofocus no matter what. But when a camera is this awesome, there's always a big hairy butt somewhere. Here's the issue. When shooting in 4K with the Canon M50, there's a few quirks you should know about. In 4K mode, it only shoots 24 frames per second, so not 30 or 60, only 24. And it also crops into your sensor, which basically zooms in your image, making it kind of hard to get a wide shot. However, this can still be really useful for getting a quick detail shot of something really close up in 4K. This way you can get that detail shot in extra quality. And the autofocus in 4K mode becomes significantly less reliable. That's because it no longer uses subject detection for face and eye detect, but now it simply uses regular phase detect autofocus, which can be kind of hit and miss. 4K video in the M50 isn't ideal, but it's still a nice feature to have in a budget camera like this. But if 4K is important to you, I have a recommendation coming up for you in just a second that will actually solve the 4K problem with the M50. So you're probably asking, is the M50 Mark II still worth it? And is it still a good camera by modern standards? Believe it or not, there's one very specific reason why I still like the M50 and I actually think it might be a better camera than even the newer Canon cameras. When it comes to the M50, it still uses the older Canon M mount. And this lens mount has a ton of lenses available for it. When you look at some of the newer Canon cameras, unless you're willing to shell out like $2,000, $3,000 for a lens, the lenses for everyday normal people like you and me are actually pretty limited. But with the older Canon M mount, you have so many lenses to choose from and they never cost more than $100, maybe $200. So when it comes to lenses, you have a way bigger selection with the Canon M50. And you can even add a speed booster to the Canon M50 and even use the older Canon EFS Pro lenses on this camera. This will give you better lenses, but also give you a full frame look as opposed to the APS-C size sensor look. This is a camera that I still think is a phenomenal deal, especially for photo shooters. And when you actually look at the actual photo specs, this is, in my opinion, still the best deal for a everyday lifestyle casual photo camera. And the Canon M50 also comes with a 15 to 45 millimeter kit lens, meaning you can get a wide shot and a zoom shot all with one lens, making it an even better lifestyle camera. When it comes to video, the Canon M50 is really meant for someone that's okay with shooting in just full HD resolution. You still get those great Canon colors, the full HD resolution video looks solid, but I do realize that 4K is becoming the new normal. And if you do want 4K in your camera, I recommend instead looking at the new Canon R50, which has 4K video at 24 and 30 frames per second. But on top of that, it also shoots 4K down samples from the full 6K 24 megapixels resolution, which means you basically get 6K resolution in your 4K video. And it does this without any kind of crop or any kind of compromise to your 4K video. And it still has the phenomenal Canon autofocus in 4K mode. And the autofocus in the R50 is even better because now it has subject detect mode for people, animals, and cars. But I only recommend upgrading to the Canon R50 if 4K is really important to you. Otherwise, the Canon M50 is still a phenomenal budget camera. And if you wanna make sure you get the best deal on the M50 or the R50, Make sure to check out the links in the description down below for the best possible pricing, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.